Hello everyone, how are you all doing? Welcome back to our kitchen, welcome back to our channel. Yes, I hope all of you are doing very good. In case you are wondering if I'm doing very good, I am doing amazing and thank you for asking. All right, in this video, I'm going to be showing you a very lovely way to make your party jello fries. When I mean your party jello fries, Nigeria party jello fries. Without wasting time, let's dive right into the video. To start, I've added my vegetable oil. I will allow it to get hot. Then I will add my onions and I will saute for about two minutes. It's been two minutes. I will go in with my blended pepper mix. In this, I have tomatoes, garlic, red bell pepper, onions, and scotch bonnet pepper. I will mix to combine. I will add paprika, chopped ginger, onions powder, garlic powder, nutmeg, you don't want to skip nutmeg in this Nigerian party jollof rice. It's very, very good. So here is my seasoning powder, curry powder, some salt, thyme. This is my green seasoning with my pepper seasoning. I'm going to drop the link of this in the description box of this video. Feel free to check it out. I'm sure it's what you want to make and just keep in your freezer for use it makes your food come out very delicious and very very tasty yes so i'm going to give this a very good mix to combine very very well i'm actually pairing this patty jello fries with chicken this chicken has been marinated i cooked it very well and i fried it so and i have the stock just right here so I'm just going to allow this do its thing for about 5 to 6 minutes then I will come back to check on it but I'm not going to cover it, I'm just going to leave it open Alright, it's been 5 minutes, I tell you this stew for our Nigerian party jello fries is ready Yes <laughs> So I'm going to just scoop a little out then I will go in with my washed rice. I will still rice. add this stew to the rice. This is my washed rice. I'm just adding this rice to the pot at this time. I washed this rice very well. I soaked it in hot water for 10 minutes. Then after 10 minutes, I washed this rice. While washing this rice, I added salt to wash this rice very well. And I rinsed it until the water became very clear. As you can see, I'm mixing this rice with stew very well. And I'm also adding the stew that I took out earlier. I want this to combine very well with the rice. I tell you, this Nigerian party jello rice is going to be very tasty. So at this point, I'm adding my hot water to this rice. Always ensure you add hot water to your rice, not cold water right and i'm mixing this very well to eat i am adding my chicken stock i sieved this chicken stock very well so to eat again i'm adding the remaining stew that i took out from this pot earlier i am taking all of these steps so that this nigerian party jello fries can come out tasting so good i tell you i am done mixing this rice at this point I'm even scooping the last of the stew. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to cover this pot to do a stain. Just checking on this rice at this point, and I'm going to be creating hole like this. Yes, this is because I want the water on top of this rice to go down the pot. That way, this rice will not get burnt understand yes and i'll stick over it to do a stain this rice is looking good the aroma at this point in my kitchen is so amazing i tell you right 
and i'm going to be testing this rice to feel if i need to adjust with salt or seasoning i will let you know i tell you the seasoning the salt everything is perfect if you are still watching up to this point and you have not subscribed to this channel please go ahead and hit that subscription button for me and turn on your bell notification so that you'll be the first to get our video anytime we upload it so i'm adding my onions right now to the pot i will cover the pot to do its thing for one minute it's been one minute i'm gonna stir these onions to mix with the rice can you see our chicken by the pot that is the chicken i'll be using to serve this nigeria party jello fries very very delicious i tell you please when you do recreate this recipe hit me up in the comment section you know i will always like to read from you i tell you this nigerian party jello fries is ready and as you can see i'm serving this rice to be enjoyed by everyone in the house I'm done making this Nigeria party jello fries. This is so lovely, I tell you. So mouth watering. Hmm. Just the way I like it, and I'm sure you will like it this way too. Please feel free to recreate this recipe. And when you do, don't forget to hit me up in the comment section. I'll be so glad to read from you. Thank you so very much for stopping by to watch this video. I will see you all in my next one. Bye! And keep eating healthy! Bye! This is the red seasoning cube and the green seasoning cube that I use for this recipe. But I brought it out earlier from the freezer so that it can defrost for me to use in this recipe, right? I'm going to drop the link in the description box of this video please find time to watch it i tell you i am very sure you will like it